In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a free website. So normally you would have to pay for a domain name and web hosting, but I'm going to show you how to get this all for free. Even if you don't know anything about websites, I'm going to show you everything step by step, how you can make your own website for free. So if you're interested in finding out how to do that, Keep watching the video till the end. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do right now is open up your browser and then you want to go to the following website. You want to go to dashboard.pantheon.io slash register and I've put this link down in the description as well. So you can just hit the link down in the description and this will bring you over to the dashboard of Fantheon.io. So we are going to be using this web hosting service because it's free and it costs no money and we can host our website without paying anything. So right here, you want to create your account. You can hit connect with Google or sign up with your email and your password. So I'm going to create an account right now. Then when you've entered in all your details, you can hit create account, this yellow button right here. And there you go, now you just registered your account. Then you can hit login with email. Then just enter in your uh, password and your username, login. And there we go, this will bring us over to the dashboard of Fantheon. So now you can hit start a new project right here. Uh, there we go. So now you can enter in your uh, site name right here. So we are go going to create our site. So I'm going to do um, free website 23, something like that, and then choose the region for the site. So if you live in the United States, European Union, Australia, or Canada, you want to select the region where you're in. So I live in Europe, so I select this one, and then you can hit continue once you've done this. So this is a uh, very easy to do. Now it's going to connect us to the next step. There we go, this is the next step. And here we can choose our CMS installation. So we can do WordPress, Drupal 8 or 7. So we obviously want WordPress because WordPress is the best um, website builder for all the websites. It's also the most used one. So just hit deploy right here for WordPress. And this will install WordPress onto our Pantheon website. And this will may take a couple of minutes. So you have to wait till this is done. So there we go, now it's completed. And we can hit the big yellow button, visit your Pantheon site dashboard. So you want to hit this, and this will bring you over to this. So this looks really confusing, but you don't have to do anything with this. You can just hit visit development site. So just hit this button, and this will bring you over to this, where you can select the language for your WordPress website. So I'm going to do English, then enter in the site title. So I'm going to do um, free site, 23 username Ryan and then this will be the password so I'm going to change this obviously and then entering your email and also the search engine visibility so just hit this box because then your website will be um, viewed more it will be ranked better and then hit install WordPress and this will take just a couple of seconds and this will bring you over to the dashboard of WordPress. So then when you're here, you can enter in your username and password like this and then hit login. You can also check remember me if you want to remember that in the browser. And there you go. We have successfully installed WordPress on your site. And what you can do right now, if we copy our uh, URL like this, copy it without WP admin and we put it in here, you can see this is how the website looks right now. So this doesn't look very good. So we are going to change this to our own website, to our own design. So go back to your dashboard and then you can go to pages right here. And now we want to delete these pages because we don't use them. These, are, uh, these pages are annoying and you want to delete it to make your... Um, to basically make your uh, website faster. After you've done that, you can go to plugins and de delete these two as well, because you want to clean up WordPress, then hit add new and install Astra. If you type in Astra right here, it's going to load this one, starter templates, Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg and Bricey templates. You want to install this one because this is very handy to use. And once it's installed, you can hit activate right here and there we go, now we installed it. 
And the next step is go to appearance right here, go to themes. And then what you want to do, you want to hit add new right here, then hit search teams Astra. There you go. And this is the team Astra that you want to install. So here, basically click on it, then hit install right here. There we go. Now it's going to install, then hit activate as well. And now when we reload the website, you can see it looks like this. So this still doesn't really look good. So we are going to install a better team. Go to, um, go to plugins again, because we installed starter templates. This is basically the theme, a library for your website with Astra. So hit library right here and then select Elementor. And then you can find a theme that you like. So basically find one that you think is good. You can filter on free and select business, other blog, e-commerce. So let's do this one, for example, hit import complete site, and then hit skip and import and delete previously imported site. That's very important. Then you can enter in your first name. That's mandatory. I built websites for myself and then the email and hit submit. And now it's going to import this theme onto your website. So this will may maybe take a couple of minutes. I'll get back to you when this is done. So there we go. Imported successfully. Hit view site right here. And as you can see, now your website looks like this. But if you want to change this, you need to install a different um, plugin as well. Go to plugins again right here. And then hit add new. Search plugins Elementor search for it. And this is basically website builder with a drag and drop system. So actually this one is already installed because we uh, used the theme. So if we go to pages again, you can see all these pages, you can edit them with Elementor. So let's go to home and hit edit with Elementor right here. Now it's loading. And as you can see, we can customize it. So we can change the text to hello text text, uh, you can, you get the point, you can change every text, you can change pictures right here, choose image, media library, you can basically change any picture you want, and will come up on your website. So after the changes, you can hit update down here, as you can see, and now it's updated. And when we go to the actual site right here, we refresh, you can see that the text has changed. So you can also change these buttons. You can change the um, background. You can basically change anything on here. So this is built with Elementor. And as you can see, you also have a footer. So when we go back to um, the dashboard on WordPress, so hit dashboard right here and then go to users. You can see that this is your uh, username, the name on WordPress itself, the email and your role. You can also add a uh, user. So if you're building it for a client, you can add your client. And that's basically how you can do that. So when you hit add new, you can select the name, email, first name, password, and that's how you can add people to build for you. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time.